All right, so I'm going to show how to replace the speakers on this 13-inch MacBook Pro model A1278, mid-2010. So first, what you're going to want is a PH0 or JIS0 screwdriver. Okay, and then we're going to remove all these screws from the bottom. Try and keep them order in order because they are different sizes, shapes, and lengths. Um, the back three here are much longer. You don't want to get them all mixed up or you can damage things. Okay, I like to lay them out on my desk in the pattern that I remove them so that way I can make sure that I put back the same screw in the same hole. Even if they look the same, um, they're not 100% identical, so some the thread will be a little bit different. Um, it's usually not a big deal, but just to be safe, I always like to put back the same screw in the same spot that I took it out from. Okay, so just remove all these screws. Okay. <clears throat> four at the bottom, four at the top, two on the sides. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think this Mac is actually on, so I'm going to have to make sure to turn it off. Okay, that's another thing you want to do. Make sure your computer's off before working on it. A lot of customers like to hand their computers to me while they're still on. <clears throat> okay, let's flip this over. Make sure it's off. Okay, oh, I guess I'll just force shut it off. Alright, we'll flip it back over. I might have to clean off some dust. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's pretty dusty. So I'm going to clean this out and I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. Um, I don't think I actually have the right speaker that I need. But uh, we'll see. Because I only have the short ones. I didn't realize I got just two of those. So I'll have to see about getting the long speaker. If I can. Okay. The speaker looks like this, at least the bottom one, but the speaker that's ruined, or that they have it that's ruined, is actually this long one here, it looks like. So I'm going to have to see if I can fix that. Sometimes what you can do is, what happens is the rim around here breaks, so you can add like a glue there, and that will seal the the gap so it doesn't vibrate. So I'm going to do this with a little super glue. Um, you can also use like a more rubbery glue, but uh, let's see if I can show this. I don't know. Depending how it broke, um, you might not be able to do this. Um, so usually what you want to do is push on it and you see like the gap forming. And if the gap forms, but it's like it closes back up, then you can do this method. So I don't know if I can get this in camera. I'll try. But basically you just put the glue in there. Okay. It might be tough to do it this way. I might need actually need a toothpick. So, because the crack is more inside. Okay. So basically, push on it, see where the crack is forming, and then try and spread the glue around there. If this doesn't work, then I just have to replace the speaker. So sometimes it will work and sometimes it doesn't so we'll see it depends how it broke so it looks like it's mostly broken on that one side so I'm just spreading the glue around that edge that's broken okay nice thing with super glue is it, it just sticks to where the two layers meet. So we'll try this first. If this works, then I don't need to completely disassemble this laptop. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Alright, then you kind of want to let that sit. The speaker will be a little bit quieter. <clears throat> when you do it this way because the thing can't vibrate as freely it's a little bit less so keep that in mind if you're going to do this or attempt this okay. I'll push this side out to make it stick together
and then you kind of want to just let it rest there. Okay, so we're going to see if this helps. I'm going to use a little air to blow on it. You don't have to do this, you can just let it sit. together so I'll probably let's see if I can do it with my hard drive so I don't need to get them to bring theirs I'm gonna boot from an external drive I don't know if this one will support Sierra but we'll find out it's a 2010 MacBook Pro <clears throat> plugging it in now all right let's see what we get I'm gonna plug this in Power this up. Let's do a PRAM and SMC reset. Not that you need to do that, but control option shift on the left, then power button. You'll see the light goes green and then back orange. Actually, I don't know if you can even see that, but it went green and then it goes back to orange. This only happens if the battery's low enough that it goes orange in the first place. PRAM reset, uh, option command PNR or command option PNR. It'll boot and then once it boots, it'll flash and restart. And then it starts back up. So far it sounds good. So I'm going to have to, oops, I should have logged in with my account. <clears throat> okay, right now it's loading their account. I'm gonna wait for it and then I'm gonna restart and try and boot from my um, my USB drive here come on restart faster <clears throat> sorry this ended up not being a complete disassembly or something video but the customer just needed their speaker fix and I don't want to take their whole motherboard apart if it's just that one speaker that can be kind of risky um, I'm pretty sure I have other videos taking apart these <clears throat> model laptops. It's very similar between the 15 inch and the um, 13 inch models. Um, but you want to search uh, 20, I think these go from 20, 2009 to 2012 that this model is basically the same thing. Okay, come on. Man, his hard drive is so slow. I would upgrade that to an SSD. So that's another thing I would recommend on these uh, old MacBooks is you can put an SSD and it'll make your Mac so much faster. Okay, it's dimming. That usually means it's starting to go. Come on. Wow, this is super slow. Come on. Even running from USB, it'll be faster. So I don't know if I should just... Uh, you can fast forward over this whole thing. It's going to just take a while, it looks like. Come on, boot up. Maybe I should pause the video and come back when it's done. Uh, it's taking forever. Give it a few more seconds. Okay, it turned bright again. That means it should be going. There we go. All right, I'm gonna restart this. I'm gonna see if I can boot from my hard drive. It <clears throat> looks like he's on Sierra, so it should be okay. So I click restart. I'm holding the option key to boot from my my USB drive. When you hold the option key, um, once it starts up, it should give you the option of all the different hard drives or the bootable partition. So here you can see Sierra's there. And he is on 10.12.6, so I should be able to boot this. Okay. It's working. It's booting. The sound is okay, it seems. Mm, come on. Can't it work? Slowly loading. Yeah, this Mac is so slow. I guess mid twenty ten, huh? Oh yeah, it doesn't have USB 3, so it's running off a USB 2 port, and it's probably trying to read the old hard drive as well. 
Come on, hurry up. Boot up faster, come on. I don't have time for this. Oh, come on. Okay, it's doing something. I can see the light on this thing is blinking. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, that was faster than the hard drive, but it was slow. Oops. There's no password on this, actually. Come on. Load it up. Load it up. And I gotta do a speaker test on here. Okay, so usually what I do is I'll go to, like, Chrome. And then I'll run a left-right speaker test. Come on, boot up. Okay, so I go to YouTube, of course. Um, no, why is it trying to go to that? What is going on? Okay, once I'm in YouTube, if it'll load, actually let me connect to this. Okay. All right, let's go YouTube. It's my, come on, it's loading so slow. Jeez. Sorry, this is gonna be such a long video of just waiting, I guess. Let's see what's going on. Something's going on with this thing. It's not loading properly. Maybe his Wi-Fi is having issues as well. It's loading super slow. Come on. Normally it shouldn't run slow unless there's some other issue with the computer because it's running off my SSD. But it's like your network, your connection was interrupted. Network change detected. Hmm. Okay. I think it's just slow. It's doing something. Come on. I'm gonna close that. We'll stop that one. Let's quit Chrome. Reopen Chrome. Okay, I think it's going now because I see Google loaded. But what about YouTube? Come on. Something's wrong with this thing. It doesn't want to go. Hmm. I think it's just slow. Super slow. Everything looks okay. Okay, let's try Safari then. Come on. Here we go. It's gonna let me go to Google. We don't need this website. It won't even let me change the website it's on. Yeah, this computer, I don't know, something's weird. It's super slow, it won't let me change anything. What is going on? This is gonna be a pointless video. I'll figure it out <clears throat> and I'll be back. All right, I think I found out the issue. My Wi-Fi is being screwed up. I don't know why. Um, I think because I added like a unlimited data plan on Wi-Fi on my um, Comcast internet and then it probably got screwed up because I did that late last night. Okay, let me left, right. Speaker test. So usually I just do a left, right speaker test. Let's see, it's probably gonna load super slow. And then I just pick this one. Oops, you didn't see which one. Sorry, I guess you didn't see which one, but let's see how it goes. So it's this stereo left, right sound test by this master study thing. Okay, let's see if it goes. It's probably gonna play an ad first. Oh, Warning. I guess not. This video contains flashes and moving images. Sounds okay. That speaker's okay.
bright speaker is okay. So it looks like it's good. Alright, so that's pretty much it. It looks like um, this speaker was repairable with some super glue. So we're good to go. Left and right speakers playing. Sounds fine. I don't know if I'm going to get copyright from this, but, but it sounds fine. Okay, so we're good to go. Um, but yeah, hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, like and subscribe. Sorry it took so long. But um, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!